Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I cleaned the master cylinder. To remove the reservoir, you just wiggle and pull. It's on there pretty tight, but it will come off. Now I'm going to ultrasonic clean the reservoirs. I'm just going to I'm going to ultrasonic clean them in straight vinegar. So you want to put the fluid inside the glass jar at equal or higher than the fluid in the work tank. So there's a nice shot of the clean reservoirs. Now to clean out the master cylinder itself, I used a Q-tip saturated with brake fluid. Do not use a dry Q-tip. You could leave fuzzies behind. I found it easiest to put the seal on the reservoir before assembling the reservoir onto the master cylinder. So just work it around, it, it will eventually go in. Now to install it, I just use a little brake fluid to lubricate the seal. It will help it go on a little bit better. Now I went in a circular motion to try and get the seal to go on evenly and not roll up under itself. A lot of caution needs to be taken with this seal. It was very tricky. So I'm using a blunt object and I'm working the seal around the nipple of the master cylinder. So two things have to happen here. The inside of the seal needs to go underneath the nipple and the outside of the seal, the rubber seal, needs to be pushed into the reservoir. So you'll just, you'll slowly see this go into place. Again, very important, use a dull, blunt object, uh, preferably nothing made out of metal. So as you can see, it is slowly going down into place. Now when I'm all done, I'm just going to take another saturated Q-tip and I'm just going to walk around and make sure I didn't leave anything behind, make sure nothing fell off while I was trying to install the seal. And there you go guys. Thanks for watching.